What is up, my fellow demons and things that go bump in the night? Welcome back to another episode of Creature of the Night. I know they're coming up later and later, guys, but I'm trying to find time to squeeze it in. But, hey, I'm, I'm getting them in every day, guys. Uh, today, we're going to be discussing a classic, for me anyways, and so another movie I grew up watching, uh, the 1985 Legend. I am darkness. Starring uh, Tom Cruise, uh, Mia, Sarah, and uh, actually uh, as Darkness, uh, the devil in this movie, uh, Tim Curry. Big surprise. Love, best adaption of the devil in my opinion. Uh, director uh, Ridley Scott and writer uh, William, I'm not even going to attempt his last name, but yeah, there you go. Look it up on IMDb. Uh, yeah, so like I said, I, this is a movie I grew up watching. Um, it definitely goes heavy on the good and evil. Uh, heaven versus hell, you know, light versus darkness, and throughout this movie, you kind of find out, like, you know, like, it's all balanced. It has to be balanced. There cannot be one without the other, so I know there's, like, a lot of people out there who who do believe or don't believe in either way, but the ones that do believe, they own, some of them believe only this is going on, and some others believe only this is going on. It's all balanced. You can't believe in one without the other, and the other cannot survive without the other. So, uh, essentially, we, uh, we see Tom Cruise, uh, who plays a wild boy, kind of a Peter Pan type of character. Uh, I believe his name is Jack in the movie. And uh, Lily, who is actually a princess who comes to the woods, you know, to come see him, you know, her little lover boy. And they plan on getting married. Well, he decides, you know, growing up in the forest, you're kind of exposed to a lot of secrets. He shows her two beans, and they're the last of their kind. And it turns out they're unicorns. And these unicorns control the light. Without them, there are male and female. Uh, without them, they uh, you know the sun would never rise again. So darkness hatches a plan to take them out because he cannot survive in light, obviously even alone with his name. So he hires a uh, Blix, which is a, an elf, and a and his crew who is like one guy's name Screwball, and I forget the other guy. He's a pig, and they go out and they set up a trap for these unicorns and they kill the the male unicorn, and they blame. Uh, Jack blames Lily because she did what he told her. I mean, sh she did what he told her not to, which was go and touch it. And when she touches it, that's when uh, Blix goes and fires a, a poisonous dart into the male unicorn. And uh, so, yeah, they, they blame her for the whole thing. Uh, they kill the un uh, the male unicorn, chop its uh, its horn off, and with that, they're able to do powers. And Blix gets the idea. <clears throat> Excuse me. Blix gets the idea. Like you know, why don't we take over everything before darkness? Actually shows up, takes it from him, and uh, says, you know, I'm still running shit. And uh, so Darkness, you know, confronts him. Oh, did you kill both of them? Yeah, you know, we, we, we did. And then the sun rises, so obviously they're lying. And he, they're like, well, it's just a female. You know, what power does the female have? What, the power of creation. It can give birth and it can create life. The most powerful. So now Jack is on this mission to, because they capture Lily, to get Lily back. To restore the the unicorn's horn, and uh, to save the last unicorn, they have them, they take them to the the tr the tree the tree of death or whatever their castle is in this gigantic tree. It looks like the very first tree of life, you know, maybe even where Adam and Eve had the the forbidden fruit incident and all that. And it's up to him and his forest friends, Gump and stuff like that, showing them how to fight, getting them proper armor, and taking them through these courses to test his strength and his will to get to see if he can even last and even going you know finally making it in he has to make the uh, a tough decision to where because they actually corrupt Lily to the full point to where she becomes like another half of darkness and when darkness reveals her himself to her man he comes out of the he comes out of the mirror you know he you see his hoof feet you know it's like the de the literal definition or translation or, or description whatever you want to call it of de how the devil would look and I'll I love Tim Curry. He did an amazing job. I every time I you know I picture the devil, that's that's the guy. That's the guy to go to. He's just the best looking one. And of course, I'm having images uh, flash up here and there, and you can tell for yourself like if if I'm wrong or right. But I'm just saying when I think of it, that's who I think of. Uh, so after corrupting, he has to decide: Am I going to kill her, or am I going to like save her soul, or do what am I going to do? I don't know what to do. And the the forest people are actually telling him, you know, just end her. She's corrupted. That's it. She's about to. It looks like she's about to kill the final unicorn, but it actually she sets it free. Darkness slaps her, and then that's when Jack fucking loses it and goes hand to hand 
not hand to hand, you know, sword to sword fight with the devil. And it's the battle is pretty insane. And all, throughout the whole thing, they're hitting points. You know, they're they're making remarks about the balance, about heaven, about hell, about light and darkness, and how each one goes together. How one cannot survive without the other. And so, if you go and go watch it, um, I forget where you can watch it. Just uh, I kind of just you know speak into my fire stick and. It just kind of pops up. I, I forget where you can actually see it. Or just go out and buy the Blu-ray. It's definitely worth the Blu-ray in my opinion. Um, just hearing the quotes and hearing how uh, Tim Carey plays uh, Darkness. And seeing Tom Cruise young. Still looks the same, just being honest. He still looks the same to this day. And how he portrayed Jack. Uh, until they uh, you know, they had to kill Darkness. Or do they really kill Darkness? And he, because he even says at the end, at the, at the final, you know, before the final blow is taken... He's like, you know, like, I'm, like, you cannot kill me. I'm, I'm forever eternal. Like, there's no you without me and there's no me without you. You know, the whole thing is saying that we're, like, brothers eternal. It just deep shit. I just love the quotes and all the, the, the script writing was amazing. I loved it to the T. But I am biased, again, because I, I grew up watching it, so it can do no wrong in my eyes. Go check it out, guys. You know, uh, I recommend it. Uh. I keep saying that. I'm sorry. Yeah, I recommend this film. I recommend every film, even if I don't like it. I recommend everything that we review on this channel. Uh, more to come, guys. Halloween, you know, October's not over, obviously. Let's get it. 31 videos. What was I thinking? But you know what? Let's rock it out.